Good morning, my name is Esther Arakin and this morning I'll be sharing with you a brief um, devotion um, from a portion of scripture that many of us will be familiar with. Um, it's about the death and resurrection of Lazarus. I'll be reading from the Amplified Version and um, it's from John chapter 11, verse 1 to 6 and I will skip um, to verse 11 to 15. Now a certain man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village where Mary and her sister Martha lived. It was the Mary who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. So the sister sent word to him, saying, Lord, he, our brother and your friend, whom you love, is sick. When Jesus heard this, he said, this sickness will not end in death, but on the contrary, it is for the glory and honour of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified by it. Now Jesus loved and was concerned about Martha and her sister and Lazarus and considered them dear friends. So even when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed in the same place two more days. Verse 11 he said this, and after that said, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him. The disciples answered, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. However, Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he was referring to natural sleep. So when Jesus saw them, Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake, I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. But let us go to him. When I was meditating on this portion of scripture, a few insights um, um, came to me. But I'll share with us one or two thoughts this morning um, that I believe God wants us to hear this morning. In verse 4, Jesus says, Lazarus' sickness is for God's glory and honour. And then we see that in verse 6, Jesus stays another two days before um, he sets off to go um, to Bethany. Now, Jesus heard that his friend Lazarus was sick. And, um, and as his very good friend or his dear friend, I'm sure he would have wanted to go there as soon as possible so he could um, make him better, so he could heal him. But the Bible says he stayed another two days. And I believe he was waiting for his father's timing. So sometimes we pray and want God to answer our prayers in a specific way or at a specific time. But God's timing is always the best um, for him to glorify himself and fulfill the purpose um, for whatever circumstance we find ourselves in. And it is when we yield ourselves to God that and allow him to work in his way and in his time that his glory is made, is made manifest in us and and through us. So this morning, I just want to encourage us that whatever circumstance we might find ourselves in or whatever circumstance we're going through, let's continually pray that through our attitudes, through our thoughts, our words, our actions, um, that God is, is, is glorified. Um, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for your word and we thank you that you're speaking to us this morning. And we pray that, Lord, whatever circumstances each and every one of us are going through this morning, that, Lord, we will allow you to work in your way and, and, and in your time um, for your namesake and for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a lovely and blessed day.